Capricorn and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for December 9th through December 15th, 2019. This is a powerful week. Capricorn, we have the Gemini full moon on the 12th, which is the last full moon of the year and the last full moon of this decade. All right, so it's powerful. It's Capricorn season right now. So happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there that are having birth. No, what am I saying? It is not Capricorn season. But you know what, Capricorn? With that uh, little slip up right there, there's something special coming to you guys this week. I'm not even going to restart the this video. Uh-uh, that was there for a reason. You guys are getting something special this week. Maybe an earth, early birthday present, all right? Because the sun is about to go into Capricorn on the 21st of December. So I think some of you may be getting an early birthday present in this week so yay right all right capricorn your overall energy for the week is the vulture life death and rebirth so that's also right in alignment of what i was saying about the sun being in your sign as well and you know what capricorn um i feel for many of you this week is you know heralding a new energy starting to blow into your life and when the sun does move into your sign, there is going to be some shifting and changing happening for you. Um, and this feels positive. This doesn't feel negative. Like there's some endings, but it feels like an ending to the past, a closing of a chapter, a closing of a book and starting new, um, new energy, new happiness, excitement, Capricorn. All right. So I really feel between now and the whole time the sun is in your sign, moving into your sign on the 21st of, you know, um, December going through, I think it's what, about the 20th or 21st of January. Between now and then, Capricorn, there is energies coming in. There's shifting and there's changing. And it's like very exciting. And you are excited. You're looking forward to what 2020 has to offer for you guys. So happy early birthday out there because the magic is starting now. Yay, you guys. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Now I feel bad because I didn't even wish Sagittarius's happy birthday. Oops. Okay, so we have be a spiritual warrior, spiritual energy, spiritual week. And next out is time for nurturing and the garden. Yes, Capricorn. Things are starting to change this week, if only at an energetic level that extends now all the way through about the 20th of January. Seeds you have sown in the past are going to begin manifesting under this Gemini full moon from the 12th of December through around the middle of um, January because it goes full moon to full moon. So from the Gemini full moon to the Capricorn, I'm sorry, to the Cancer full moon in January. Um... Capricorn, yeah, seeds you've sown in the past are going to finally start, you know, sprouting through the surface or finally beginning to manifest. And I know that because this and this and this and just the vibe I'm getting and there's so much happiness around this Capricorn. Let's pull some more cards. I'm very excited. Whoa, okay, so let's see, how many is that? That's okay, so I will just cut right there. Spirit is just flowing with your message. Okay, so the cards that jumped out, we have the three of the four-legged, which would be the three of pentacles, creativity and skill. Um, you know, with the three of pentacles, this is all about energies coming together, collaboration, teamwork, people having your back, being there for you, um, energies finally aligning and manifesting for you. Also, um, you know, there's a two and now a three. So some of you, there's two. Um, it could be like you and another person are trying to achieve a goal or a dream. And there's a third person that's going to come in and help you. Okay, there's a dynamic of three for some of you that's involved with this. Next is the death card. Just shed the old and restoration. And that just pairs so perfectly with this vulture next is the nine of the wing nine of the winged ones which would be the nine of swords the loon answers and hopes and dreams oh, i love it 
Next is the Six of Ancients, which would be the Six of Wands, the Paint Eternal, Faith, and Efforts Rewarded right there. It is confirmed. Capricorn, look at that. And all of those fell out, okay? Spirit wanted to bring that through. Make sure I got that. And lastly, Queen of the Winged Ones, which would be the Queen of Swords. And we have Vision and Spiritual Perception. So Capricorn, you have um, that spiritual energy right there and right there, as well as um, there could be you know, somebody in your life this week that's really giving you strong guidance um, that speaks to your spirit, speaks to your core, or you're opening up to somebody who is more spiritually based about just different dreams you're having or um, what you're feeling inside and changes you want to make in your life. Um, there's just somebody giving you advice or spiritual advice. So this could be, you know, somebody you know that's close to you coming through as an air sign, uh, a couple different things. They're either a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this is somebody who is highly connected into the spiritual realm and they're pulling down those divine messages for you. And it could just be through casual conversation or advice. And it's just like spirits working through them and moving through them saying everything you need to hear, or this is somebody you are seeking out specifically because you know they are more spiritually based and connected to the spirit realm to offer you guidance and direction. Um, because, you know, there's dreams you're having, and it, it could be about, you know, your next step, your next move. Angels could be talking to you, past on loved ones, all right? And it, it's time, Capricorn, to let the past go. Everything that didn't work out in the past it's all for something. And now, as you move into this week and, you know, go through the end of December into January, all the things you've been hoping for and working towards the energetic seed you have sown of manifestations, um, you know, over 2019, it's like all of that is finally starting to happen and manifest for you. And you no longer feel restricted and held back. You feel rewarded like you're out in the spotlight like you're being blessed, you're happy. There, This is a time of celebration for you, Capricorn. And it's like you can let go of the old and transform into the new. And it's a spiritual week. Trust your intuition. Trust the vibes around you. Um, also, because it, it feels so spiritual, you might find yourself a bit more emotional and sensitive than normal. But trust your vibes. Trust your intuition. And, um, you know, if you need that deeper, further clarification, there's somebody in your life that can really um, give you that confirmation and clarity or it's just sound advice that makes you feel complete inside and you're like, yes, okay, I feel good. This is my direction, but beautiful change is coming. All right, let's pull some um, runes to clarify. So under this otter, which is your creativity and skill, we have balanced coyote. That's good things right there. Um, Again, uh, there's like somebody joining you, helping you out, like, and it's there, there's three, so it could be three people coming in, or you and another person, a third person joining you. There's something about that, the three, the trinity of support for you, helping you out, giving you, maybe um, giving you resources, putting in a good word about you, something like that. Next, we have the rabbit, which is weight, and this is um, coming out on, you know, the snake, shed the old. And Capricorn, what this means is it's time to let the past go. You can't hold on to the shoulda, coulda, but didn't happen. Um, the sadnesses, the heartbreaks, all of those things that you've encountered. It's time to like let yourself evolve beyond it because you've learned, you've grown, you've evolved. And it's time to shed a skin and become a new version of yourself. This is the change, the rebirth you know, that's coming through right there as well. And come into your dreams, like your true purpose, your true path. All right, next out is the hawk and visions. That's coming under answers and hopes and dreams. Yeah, this is a spiritual week. Pay attention to all your insights, intuitions, your dreams, signs, synchronicities, confirmation. Capricorn, it's, it's giving you... The answers that you have been putting out to the universe, it's just pointing the direction, the path that you should go. Um, but also, I feel some of the things that are manifesting, you've had dreams about. I love it. I love your reading, Capricorn. It is so spiritual. And, it, and again, 
there's like that birthday magic about this week where there's a gift coming to you somehow, some way. Oh goodness, and look at here. You have the spirits with the owl under the six of ancients, faith and efforts rewarded. Oh yeah. This is a beautiful week and it starts a, a beautiful like next six weeks of your life. And lastly, we have industrious under the rat. So this just goes back to that sound advice and direction that somebody is offering and giving to you this week, Capricorn, to help you feel more secure about everything, the changes that are happening, the changes that you are making, just it's so naturally unfolding. And again, very spiritual week for you, Capricorn. Okay, let's pull some advice. This is like, let the magic begin. Okay, woods. Be like the woods. Calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life. Yes. Let the magic begin. Let the changes unfold. Shed your old skin. Shed the past Capricorn. And embrace the magic of everything that's unfolding starting now all the way through the next six weeks. All right? So those are your messages, Capricorn. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.